Hi, this is Studer Nick Bing, and this is adjective phrase 89. The adjective phrase today is lily livered. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot? Do it right now. Let's get right to it. If someone says that another person is lily livered, it means that he or she is cowardly, timid, easily frightened, etc. All right, let's continue. The phrase derived from a medieval belief that one's liver was the organ in the human body that controlled our emotions and created blood. Okay. Thus, if one's liver was not healthy, it could cause physical weakness or mental weakness. Uh, the lily part of the term is one that came from the fact um, that other people at this time associated with whiteness, especially extreme whiteness, because a lot of lilies are very, very white. Okay. If a person's liver was white, it was thought to be lacking blood in their own liver and thus lacking courage. So that's the connection there. All right, let's continue. The phrase is believed to be coined by Shakespeare. Uh, in his play Macbeth in 1605, the phrase was used to describe a cowardly servant. Here is, uh, here is the quote, a line by the character Macbeth. Macbeth himself said this, go prick thy face and overread thy fear Thou lily-livered boy. Well, Prick pr was like to stab. Did he want him to stab his face to, to gain courage? I don't know, something like that. Go prick thy face and overread thy fear. Get over the fear, I guess. Thou lily-livered boy, you cowardly boy. I guess something like that. All right, and we have um, three examples to show just how this will be used. Here's the first one. Uh, in many Westerns, you know, like the cowboy movies, in many Westerns, a common insult to someone who was afraid to accept a gun duel was to be lily livered. Yeah, I remember, sometimes I remember this phrase in, in a lot of cowboy movies. Number three, some lily livered congressmen are not brave enough to stand up to this injustice. Okay, good. Or number three, that lily livered man is not courageous enough to defend his own name, all right, or his own reputation. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. Uh, I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.